Okay, so let's play this last part here. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion, Part 64 AM. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting on the work done to date. We'd been listening to it. We really wanted to go over and rework how we did it. And that's what we spent the bulk of our time doing. Uh, we updated how we annotated things. We labeled each of these chords, 21, 20, 25, etc. So we knew what chord we were using because we were copying and pasting them all over the place. Um, we reworked it, and as we reworked each backbone, we went ahead and gave the pitch name and the note function. And as we reworked the arpeggios, we gave them the figure name, trough down, trough up, etc., etc. So finally, we completed all 14 sections, and we're going to play that for you. Here we go. Alrighty, and what we what we like this time about what we've done so so far is we've worked out some rules of thumb. Our rules of thumb in working with arpeggios are we have a working we we the backbone is critical, and then the backbone, for example, the backbone here is these notes. And then the first note of each arpeggio agrees with the first note, with the backbone note, except for the end, where the last note of the arpeggio agrees with the last note of the backbone. So uh, then we also had a rule of thumb where it's possible to repeat a note crossing the bar line. We started paying attention like here these two arpeggios la, da, dum, bum, 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 where it's possible to repeat the note across the bar line we did that and then it also led us to paying attention to what happens not just within a bar but what happens when you cross the bar so they're they're like uh, overlapping triplets this triplet goes like this And there's another repeated note. So we started paying a lot more attention to working with the arpeggios, which is new. This is the third uh, composition, third series, where we, we really began in earnest to work with it. So that concludes today's stream. Our ideas for next time are to keep working with this. 
uh, double check that our backbone arpeggio rules of thumb are being followed. Um, we noticed that the you may notice it was grouped into three overarching parts, and the middle part still tends to lose our interest. We did experiment with putting an effect synthesizer on it, which was sounds quite cool, you know, boopy boopy sounds, but we still lose interest in the middle section. So changing timbre is not enough uh, if you don't have a good structural variation going underneath it. So we want to look at ideas for that. Um, shout outs to DVA Mechanics who came by and Kukunman12345. We appreciate it. Mr. Spatz came by several times. We appreciate it. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.